Hi, this is Mari with Green Woman Ways, and I am sitting here uh, on the uh, bank of the Fall River. And uh, right behind me is Fall River Falls, and I've been sitting here for I think probably at least a couple hours by now. And uh, I've only seen a couple people since I've sat down here, and it has been absolute solitude, nature connection, bliss. Um, the falls energy is spectacular. Uh, falls put off a lot of negative ions, which are incredible for our well-being and are also great for the environment. So uh, I've been soaking those in and also feeling the playful and uh, beautiful nature spirits in this place. I spent some time just connecting and sitting here. Uh, I went up next to the falls and got nice and splashed and started laughing deeply. It's like with a deep soul laughter. Uh, and the water spirits just sort of bring that out in me. And uh, I spent some time sketching and just painting for a while, which is one of my favorite meditative ways to uh, connect and focus to sketch or paint in nature. And uh, it's always amazing what comes out because it'll be so different from time to time. And uh, so I wanted to share the space with you all. And the falls, which is just spectacular. I'll move out here in a second. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely amazing. And the water is sparkling in the sunshine. And uh, there's some trout swimming down in the pool down here below the falls. Uh, little uh, insects flying around would come and visit and then take off again. And I've seen uh, a few birds come through. So. But it's just been this amazing, quiet, peaceful place, and I've <laughs> I've just been benefiting from it a great deal, and that's part of why nature connection is so important to me. And also, of course, from my point of view, that that is a very spiritual practice, and I'm connecting with nature and with the earth, but I'm also connecting with the spirits of this place, and I find that. Uh, it benefits greatly. And another great thing to help is bare feet, bare feet on the earth. Amazing grounding uh, practice. And that's a great combination with uh, being where I'm at right now, is that I've got all this kind of high energy of the falls and the water behind me. Very energetically it's, it's very high vibration and then at the same time I'm sitting on the earth my feet are on the ground there's nothing between me and that and so I've got that earth grounding energy too and that's a theme that I've been finding is really important lately there's a lot of expansion going on a lot of uh, expansion in the way we're perceiving things um, a lot of things going on where we're starting to see things in new ways, we're starting to have our intuition open up even more and more and more people are having incredible experiences where they're finding different parts of their mind and different parts of their intuition, different parts of who they are, are starting to activate more. And that is a lot of energy that is here and here and higher. And you're talking about, you know, your third eye and your crown chakra and your higher crown chakra. And all of that high vibration energy is beautiful. And I, I'm loving seeing everything that's happening. I'm loving seeing how um, people are becoming more aware of the totality of who they are. And they're just it's opening up in the most beautiful ways. But at the same time... All of that high energy um, really requires us to nurture and make sure that we're working on our root chakra and our grounding, our earth chakra. Um, the earth chakra is sometimes considered to be kind of between your feet, and uh, I always think of it as my rooting between my rooting of my feet to the earth. So when I'm envisioning working with my root with my earth chakra, I'm often thinking about it as the energy around my feet. And so that having those bare feet on the earth is um, a spectacular practice for grounding in that way. So rooting, grounding, while at the same time allowing this opening and this receiving and um, your intuition and 
just all those abilities to be able to be expanding and to be be becoming more, um, but staying grounded and rooted at the same time. And so the combination here is perfect to talk about this. Uh, I actually brought some some stones today to share, without even realizing how perfect that this would be for that. So um, I just brought a few crystals to share that are among my favorite for the earth and root chakras. I'm going to pull them out and I'm also going to check the camera real quick to make sure I'm actually filming. <laughs> Yay, I am. Okay, so I am going to share a few uh, crystals that I love to work with, and there's a lot that you can work with, but these are just a few that I'll often grab right away. They're not necessarily really, really strong grounding energy in the sense of like uh, black tourmaline to me has that sense, that, that feeling to it, whereas like a real, real low, deep grounding. These have a little bit of a lightness to them. Uh, some of them have a little bit of a fiery energy to them too, which I love the combination of. So the first one I'm going to share is this. Like, move it in. What we've got here is uh, red jasper. And this is one of my favorite root chakra stones. Um, it's really good for meditating with. I also find that it's actually really beneficial for uh, women and when they're in their cycles, when they have their uh, their flow, this can really be beneficial. Or if their flow is. Uh, I'm not going through the way it should be. Sometimes that happens. And this is just a stone that I've also found that really helps open up that energy as well. So, uh, but it's also an incredibly soothing, releasing root chakra stone. So this is red jasper. I just love this piece. And then, Another red stone, very different energy, if I can find it, aha, here it is, that can play on a lot of different chakras, really, but this is a deep, dark garnet. Cyclist going by. <laughs> so much a bunch of bells all of a sudden. Alright, so, red garnet. Now this, this is another amazing root chakra crystal, but it also brings in, to me, that fire, spirit, energy. Um, it's grounding, but it's also energizing, and uh, even just holding it, I'm not even really sure if it's going to come through, but my energy just grows, but in a really grounded manner. Um, I, ha I feel like it has a lot of fire energy to it. And uh, I often connect garnet to Pele. So Pele, even though that's not necessarily a place that the garnets are coming from, but that energy or any sort of volcanic fire goddess kind of energy. Um, these guys, these garnets really pull that, that through. And uh, it, it's a great way to actually connect more with that energy if you feel that that resonates with you to work with garnet in that way. But I find that garnet is not only grounding, but it's also energizing. And as we go through these transitional times where we are expanding and our awareness is becoming so much more, and it can be, it can get overwhelming if we don't keep nurturing ourselves really well. And I find that this is a, a very passionate stone. It's a very self-nurturing stone. It can really benefit you in that way if it resonates with you. So uh, show it again, and it's dark. I'm not having any sunlight right here all of a sudden, so it's going to look almost black, but in the sunlight, it's got uh, the red tone to it. And there's a lot of different colors of garnet that you can work with for different chakras as well if you can connect the colors with the chakras.
Okay, so then the final stone I wanted to share is uh, smoky quartz. And I have a couple different kinds here from different places in the world. Again, smoky quartz is incredibly beneficial as a root chakra and also as an earth chakra. I, this is my connection to them. Um, it also works in a few other ways, but it's, it's a very cleansing, clearing, soothing energy. And I think that it has a little bit more of a lightness and flow to it than like uh, black tourmaline does, which I love black tourmaline and it has its place. But for the grounding, while at the same time allowing all those energies to be active in these ways, um, this is really a beneficial stone. So this first piece is a double terminated, although the tip is missing, but there was something about that that I really loved, the way the energy moved through this stone. This is actually from Colorado, so it's a smoky quartz from Colorado. Ouch! Sitting in such a way that my leg started to cramp. Okay, so here's this one. And there's a lot of different smoky quartz out there. There's a lot of them from a lot of different places around the world. And um, one thing that I really like personally is to find natural smoky. So that means they haven't been irradiated so that they are unnaturally dark. Uh, at least irradiated outside of the earth. And so usually you'll be able to tell because there'll be a, a variety of tones in, in the, the stone instead of in, in the crystal. Some people, they love them and they work with them, but for me that energy just doesn't mesh. So be sure to feel the differences and see which one works best for you. The next one, and I'm not going to remember the exact place because it always gives me a tongue twisting effect, but these ones are from Australia. And they have a, a little bit of an elestial wearing off inner, uh, shaping to them. They're double terminated and they've also got some other pieces on them that are also double terminated in one place. So these are from Australia, from a specific area in Australia. Maybe I will uh, look that up again and put it down in the information below the YouTube video. So you can look for that. Um, and these guys, these guys bring in a little bit of that same fiery energy to me. It's a little calmer and more subtle than the garnet is, but these ones from Australia have a little bit more fire energy to them for whatever reason. The one thing is, is that uh, the different places on the earth are connected with different concepts of different earth chakras. And uh, one way of looking at it, one, one uh, set, some people have different places for different ones, but one that really resonates with me is has the earth chakra at Uluru. <laughs> The big red rock in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I should take notes when I'm going to do this, but I never know what's going to come up. So that big red rock that's in Australia um, is in the center of Australia, and that's, that region is considered uh, the root chakra of the earth. And so a lot of the times if you find crystals and stones that have that energy of themselves and they're also coming from that place, it's going to elevate uh, that energy for you as well. So I'll just show these one more time. Hopefully this is focusing. Sometimes I have someone behind the camera helping me, but right now that helper is off fly fishing. He's having his time, which I'm happy for him for. So you guys are getting what you get. <laughs> Alright, so there's three stones to work with the root chakra energy, and there's people walking by right now, so hopefully my voice is still going to carry for this. Um, and just to find what works for you, just let that flow of energy go through, let that uh, we're going to have a short pause. I'm getting a funny look. <laughs> it's okay. I often get funny looks. I mean, I am talking to the camera and not just my invisible friends. I think you guys are all my invisible friends. Okay. So, anyway, I wanted to share that concept of keeping yourself grounded, but also working in a grounded way that allows that energy to continue to flow. And I wanted to, again, share the beauty of the place behind me. And if I have enough battery, I will actually end up doing a nature meditation video for the falls as well. So you can look for that that I'd be sharing. 
and uh, happy expanding and happy grounding. Get your feet on the earth, sit down on the earth, lay in the earth, uh, find ways to connect with the earth, and also get out there and find some high energy places like, like waterfalls and stuff that really help cleanse and clear and invigorate you again. And uh, it's very beneficial during these times to nurture yourself. Nature is here to partner with us and it will partner with us in the most beautiful ways and it can be such a personal and um, transformative experience. So, all right, I'm just going to encourage you to get out there, work with some crystals that help ground you and uh, help you be rooted as you're doing this expansion and uh, blessing, nature connection blessings to all of you. Mwah, much love.